Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to our daily hacking news series. Hit the like button to give a shout out to our team. Now let's get right into the video. So first news is related to Russia and Ukraine. So basically an unknown advanced persistent threat, which is called APT group. So they had targeted Russian government entities with at least four separate spear phishing campaigns. And it was started from February 2022. So basically the campaign discovered by malware byte threat intelligence team and are designed to implant a remote access trojan that can be used to surveil the computer it infects and run command on them remotely. The malware uses a number of advanced tricks to hide what it does and how it works. But uh, their analysis have been able to reverse engineering the malware and reveals its inner working and uncover some clues about its possible origin. So they have also posted some sort of article on their website of Malwarebyte. Most of the website is malwarebyte.com. From there, you can learn about that specific rat. And that, they space, that rat is basically targeting uh, Russia from the starting of uh, this uh, specific military operation in Ukraine. Now the next news is related to Microsoft warning. So basically the card skimming malware is increasingly using malicious PHP script on web servers to manipulate payment pages in order to bypass browser defense triggered by JavaScript code. So this was told by the Microsoft and Microsoft threat researchers have also observed a charge uh, and change in tactics uh, used by the card schema malware. And over the past decade, card skimming has been dominated by so-called mega card malware that relies on JavaScript code to inject a script into checkout page and deliver malware that captures and still payment card details. So if you'd like to know more about uh, make card malware, then just let us know. This is very famous. We'll create a video on it. Now next news related to Russia and Ukraine. So basically the safety detective security team shared details of a misconfigured elastic search server that exposes the data of millions of loan applicants. The data mainly belongs to the people from uh, Ukraine, Kazakhstan and Russia who had applied for micro loan. And the servers were detected randomly on uh, December 5th, 2021. And while checking uh, certain IPs, however, the details of it have only been shared this week. So the anonymous server was left unsecured and unprotected as it they don't have any authentication protocols, which led to the leakage of more than 870 million records of 147 GB of data. So this is huge. Now last news is coming from CISA. CISA. So basically CISA has added 20 new vulnerabilities to its known exploit vulnerability catalog and based on evidence of the active exploitations. So these type of vulnerability are a frequent attack vectors for malicious cyber actors and pose significant risk to the federal enterprises. So the thing that we need to note is to view the newly added vulnerability in the catalog, you need to click, click on the arrow on, uh, on the date added to catalog column, which will sort by descending dates on their uh, CISA portal, which is CISA.gov and it's uh, from US. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you if you have comment down your feedback, subscribe this YouTube channel because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis. So at last, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day, Jenny.